Hey there, kids. It's your dad. Ow! So, um, yeah, I got this new light, and I think it looks pretty good. I think this lighting makes the, uh, the whole video look significantly better. I mean, because I haven't seen it perfectly, but from what I'm looking at right now, it looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh. So as you can tell by the title, um, got some good stuff to talk about. I'm sure most of my fans already know what E3 is and that it just happened recently. But for those who don't, um, it's a very popular game and conference thingamajig that happens every year. And recently we had this year's E3. Damn, 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 damn. And recent, ah. and recently we had this year's E3 conference. And as you can tell by the title, I just wanted to talk about it. Talk about the games that impressed me this year and what I'm really hyped to see this year. So it could be argued that this year's E3 conference was kind of kind of not that good. It's all opinions because in my opinion, this year was probably one of my favorite years. Just because it has games that really fit the games that I play in. Whereas um, I haven't really paid that much attention to the E3s the other years anyway. So I don't really just want to start off with the games that I'm most excited for. Because I know that once I start talking about them, it'll be hard to stop talking about them. First, I want to talk about some that I'm, I'm kind of that I will buy for sure and that looks pretty fun. So probably number five on my list of the most impressive games this year would have to be Assassin's Creed Origins. It mostly has to do with that I've played all the Assassin's Creeds before where no, I'm lying to you. I've played a lot of them, and I, I used to enjoy them a lot before I just started, like, like I play games now where I'm just literally playing only fighting games, but I'm I'm not actually going to do that. Like, I'm for sure, when Assassin's Creed comes out, I'm going to play it. Maybe even on my channel. I don't know. It might just be something that I play by myself, but I thought it looked impressive. It looked like it had more space and i like the way i like the whole setting of it being in egypt and everything i've loved all the other parts of the assassin's creed story and you know this is supposed to be like talking about the first assassin that sounds pretty cool to me so yeah i am that is that is that that is assassin's creed it's not the most impressive but it's definitely one that i will buy and i think it's definitely worth it now, if I'm going to be honest, I really didn't just watch the whole E3 everything. I just kind of saw a video, like a 10-hour video of people streaming it, and I just watched, kind of looked through the whole stream, and whenever I saw something that looked kind of good, I looked at it, but I don't really care enough to watch the whole entire thing. So. Okay, yeah, um, so that's Assassin's Creed, and now to number four on my list of the most impressive games. As all of my fans already know, COD, I've always been a major fan of all the Call of Duties, and so this year, I'm even more impressed because it's actually what I want as a fan of Call of Duty. Now, other people want different things. I actually had fun on a lot of the recent Call of Duties that everybody was hating on, but I'm I'm kind of with it. Like, it just, it kind of seems unoriginal, and it, it got boring really fast, and now I'm excited to play a different Call of Duty, and I say it's different just because it's different from what we've had recently, and what we've had recently actually hasn't been that fun. I've watched plenty of gameplay on it, and I'm I'm impressed with what they've done. Like the way the creative class system looks, looks really enjoyable and looks like something that is different from the old Call of Duties. Although they are going back to the roots, it looks good that they actually are changing some so it's just not like a remake of a, another COD, you know? And yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing that. I don't know if I'll just be like crazy about it or how much I'll play it, but I will for sure definitely try it. I actually haven't even tried Infinite Warfare. Like, I played it at a friend's house, never bought it myself. It just didn't seem worth it to me because what I've been into now is different from what I used to be into, which was COD. Like I said, I, I was really a nerd. I was really a nerd at one point for COD and stuff, like like all kids were. So yeah, um, next on my list would have to be... Okay, so now we're actually getting into the games that really impressed me. So I know this um, is... It, I don't even know if it was at E3, but I'm talking about games that have impressed me and the ones that I'm most hyped for in 2017 slash early 2018 because one of them goes there. But the next game on my list is kind of not as popular as a lot of games that um, I've talked about so far, and that is Absolver. I would actually probably say that most of the people watching this haven't even heard of this game, but I have been watching it since February when I saw a trailer for it, and I am really, really excited for it because it, it's kind of, it's very different, and you know, I've played fighting games for so long, and yeah, I've played fighting games for so long, and you know, that's my thing, and this kind of strays away from a normal fighting game. It's got to look like an RPG fight 
modern game mix which is not very i don't know even how to describe it but it looks really interesting and it's got like a lot of levels to it mostly for me i think the most attractive thing about the game is actually the art like i like the whole pretty much faceless characters i don't know and it's really based on like traditional martial arts which is what i like most which is really like basically my favorite thing ever like i haven't really explained it but like i'm very much a big fan of old chinese movies and intense fighting scenes that look unrealistic but people actually do them and that game looks like it just takes a lot from the very traditional chinese style of martial arts and takes actually every style of martial arts and it just mixes them together and it gives you it looks like it's very personalized i'm very excited for it and it definitely will be on my channel i've signed up for every beta so far but i haven't gotten into one yet because i said my preferred platform was the playstation 4 and they didn't have a playstation 4 beta so why would they ask me if they weren't even making a beta for it? i don't know but this time i signed up for the pc beta so maybe i'll get it maybe i won't who knows i mean i've been signed up since february so like i'd be really disappointed if i didn't get it okay and now we're into the most hop games for me right now and that you will definitely be seeing a whole lot of on my channel and that is number two being marvel versus capcom Infinite. and this was for sure at e3 and from what i've seen it looks really good it i mean i've never even played any of the other marvel versus capcom but i've always been interested in it this like right now in this early state i mean it's kind of early in this stage of the game the graphics don't look perfect like some characters look kind of strange but you know some don't so i think they'll fix that and if they do then i really don't see many problems with this game the whole um infinity stone or whatever little gimmick they got going on looks really interesting and different from the other marvel vs capcom games and if you've played other marvel vs capcom games which when i say i haven't played them i've played them but i have i've never had any and i've never like actually went very in depth with them but they're very chaotic and you know a lot of the games that i play aren't chaotic at all like tekken and injustice they're kind of um they're v they are in like a different section of games than you might consider um the marvel vs capcom and chaotic type fighting games and this is just all my opinion but i'm impressed with it and very excited for it next on my list is the one that i did not want to talk about at the beginning of the video because i could probably go on forever about how i am excited for this game i am literally so excited and any of my friends will know what game i'm talking about already dragon ball fighters for ever for as long as i can remember i've always wanted a 2d dragon ball game but newer of it. I mean, they've had 2D Dragon Ball games, I think, before, but none recently at all. And and so, for people that don't know, a lot of people probably have already heard of this game because it's got a lot of hype around it right now. Um, it's made by Arc System Works, and they have made some really good games in the past. Games that I've played, um, one being Guilty Gear. And if you've played that before, this is a really popular anime fighting game and it's it's literally seems like a perfect creator for a game like dragon ball because other than being a fan of fighting games i'm also a huge fan of the series dragon ball and i've watched it for as long as i can remember and this game the graphics for one look so much like the dragon ball anime which i'm impressed with but a whole lot which impresses me a whole lot because you know i've played all the other dragon ball games i've played dragon ball xenoverse 2 on my channel before i've played dragon ball xenoverse i've played dragon ball dragon ball Budokai. i've played them all or all that i can remember all that have been out since i was born but this one it fits me perfectly and from what i've seen of this game it's got its i i believe the creators are a perfect creator for this game and i don't see it failing now i've never been one to be disappointed a game no matter how much hype is built around it like there have been games like just i don't know the first game that comes into my head as something that was really disappointing compared to the hype was no man's sky i bought that game i enjoyed it and it even though it didn't meet up to the hype I'm I never overhype myself like I know how much hype a game is worthy of and I never just overdo it for myself and so I don't think that Dragon Ball Fighters will let me down not much can really be said about it yet I mean that hasn't already been said because one thing that really impresses me at E3 this year you know they had gameplay of it and like they let people play it but they said it was only 20% done 
and it looks absolutely incredible for 20% done this looks better than a hundred percent this looks better than many games that are already a hundred percent done and that's just crazy to me like they they only had six characters and a lot of people when they saw that they were like all these characters look the same well the creator actually said herself that they chose these six characters because they were all similar fighting styles that were very generalized and like not out there you know so I don't I don't know this is definitely the most top thing and apparently they're, they're supposed to be having a beta before the summer's over and for sure I will play that as long as I get the chance like if they allow me to play that beta I will be so happy and so I don't want to talk too much about it that is my kind of review of e3 but also more than e3 it's my review of <laughs> but also more it's my review of the games we have coming out in 2017 there would definitely be some others that I didn't talk about I'm just saying like these are my five that will for sure be over here in my cabinet of games as soon as they come out um this video is very different from my other videos usually I'm a lot more I don't know talking about myself but this was very different I guess yeah so hopefully maybe um, some people watch this. If not, you know what? I mean, I'll just kill myself anyway, you know? You know, that's all I gotta do. So if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy this, um, leave a like. And if you leave a like, then also leave a like. Um, so leave a like. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Damn.